Welcome, Flip Clock fans. I thought I'd get something old into Flip Clock Fan Studios this year. And here it is. Nope, it's not a flip clock, and I hope you'll excuse me. This is what's known as the Mystery Clock by the Lux Clock Company. And if you've been online and looked around, you probably have seen it called the Tape Measure Clock. That's not its name, but that's going to stick. If you look at it, you can probably see why. I've been interested in this clock for a while. I just think it's cool. It's got a cool factor and it's just something kind of neat. You see how the time is displayed on the clock. And if you look at the instructions which are included on the back of the box, it says you want to hold the base and turn the top dial to set the time. So it's just a simple matter of, of just turning it like that. A little bit reluctant to do it. I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up. But it seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. And when I got the clock, I looked on there and I thought, well, look at that. January 31st, 1936. I think I'm going to leave that on there. I'm not sure what's that about. But the weirdest thing is that it actually arrived at my house on January 31st, about 82 years later. This is the patent that was filed in 1935. So you see, it's an old clock. It was patented by Herman F. Lux. And again, it was sold as the mystery clock for about $5, and sometimes it's on sale. But you think back in 36, this is what the girls look like. This is what the cars look like. It was just a different time. There were no televisions. No one had television. Unfortunately, the Depression was going on about that time when the clock was made. And it seemed like everybody smoked, even the athletes. And if you smoke Lucky Strikes, you were lucky because physicians uh, said they were good for you, I guess. Now, here's some of the clocks you'll see online, and you can see a lot of them are in really rough shape, and they are old clocks. The smaller one in the middle, that's even a little more rare variety, but most of them you'll find are like this one, which is about 5 inches in diameter. It's bigger than you would think when you see them online, but this is your typical clock that you're going to see. This is how you wind it. Now, if you have ever get a hold of these, sometimes people say they don't work. And that's not that unusual. What you're going to have to do sometimes is give it a little turn. You'll see later why I had to do that. And it is a ticker. It is a loud ticker. That's the how you, if the clock's running fast or slow, you'd, you'd adjust it right there in that little opening there. So as with most clocks, we're going to open it up and see how it ticks. It's a simple matter of unscrewing that top knob and lifting the dial right off. There's the mechanics and I think the, the, the way this thing is made and it's all metal, it just amplifies the ticking. You see there's three nuts there that we're going to remove. I'm going to use my little handy dandy wrench. It's a cut down monkey wrench and this way I don't I don't put a socket on there and uh, scrape the paint. These things do not have to be tightened down real tight when you replace them. It's not going anywhere. So we'll just unscrew all these and see what we've got going on. This, the winding key, it uh, stays on there permanently, but to turn it to, a, to the uh, right there, and that will remove it. Actually, I didn't have to do that uh, for this disassembly. The mechanism is actually attached really firmly to the base, so I'm not going to go that far anyway. I'm going to push here on the dial top to, to break that free and get it out of the can here. There it is. That's the, the spring that you wind up to give the uh, clock power. And there's our balance wheel going back and forth. It looks to be in really good condition. As I mentioned earlier, the clock didn't get started right away because evidently the balance wheel didn't initiate on its own. So a little twist got that wheel started. 
Maybe I just spent some time looking at this. You can see why people would get into clocks. It's just interesting, the clockworks that are going on. It's just, it's just got a cool factor to it. No offense to our flip clocks, of course. This assembly's just in reverse. It takes a little finagling to get it back together. But there it is. The mystery rotary clock, or the mystery clock. Or, as you're going to see it listed everywhere, the tape measure clock. A new addition to Flip Clock Fan Studios. Well, thanks for watching. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.